Well, hi everybody. <laughs> it's still Mother's Day. I'm not wearing the same outfit two days in a row. <laughs> I was going to change blouses so people knew it was a different video, but I'm just going to put one label on one and two. Let's do Flynn real quick and just do a past, present, challenge, and future on him and see see what's going on with Flynn. When going to end up in the Hooskow or what? What's going on? With Sneaky Flynn. Thought he was so... Should have known better. Should have known they were tracing... That somebody was on his cell phone and everything else. Why, why did he feel so protected? I mean... He had to have some smarts to get as far as he did, even though Obama fired him. But why did he feel so... Uh, Anyway, who knows? But let's see how effect protected he's feeling now. Let's see what's going on with Flynn right at this moment. Well, the past, he felt like he had the death card. But it's upside down, unless the whole cards are upside down. No, they're all upside down, so I'm going to flip it over. So he felt like he had the death card, death sentence in the back. He just flat did not want to go to jail. So that was the recent past. The present today is he feels like he's had an offer. An offer that sounds too good to be true. So he's a little bit of... kind of worried about other things this could open up. I don't know why, but he's a little bit worried about this offer in the present. At least he feels like he got out of his death sentence. The challenge is that he can't come out of this being victorious. No matter which way it goes, whether he ends up going to jail or ends up getting pardoned, either way he... They can't change this where this where he's make him into a good person. That's the challenge. He's never going to be victorious again. And the future. Oh fuck. It looks like he's not going. It looks like he's getting out of this. That's what the cards are saying. I hope they're wrong. 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 But it looks like he's getting out of it. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't say I hope the cards are wrong because they're they've been right for me for so many years on so many things. But I sure didn't like that outcome. But anyway, we'll just have to wait and see. I could have just read it wrong. But when I seen the star, unless he'll be relieved if he does go to jail, unless the, he thinks it'll be so much worse on him than if he doesn't, and then the administration changes and they come in after his family and everything. I never thought about that angle. But he ends up with the star, which looks like on this current thing that he's going to get his way. Let's see what Trump's doing between now and the end of this month. I'm going to do it by the week instead of the overall reading. I'm going to do it for three weeks. Not quite three weeks left of this month, but let's do it for the next three weeks. I'm going to shuffle them one more time. Believe it or not, I used to deal poker. Had a card game in the bar that I had, and I was pretty good at it, and I could really shuffle those cards 30 years ago. Amazing what 30 years can do. <laughs> Go in either direction. Okay, let's see what's going on with Trump. Let's do this about Trump. 
see what that sucker's up to. Let's see what he's up to. Well, the work card fell out. We know that's not what he's up to. <laughs> he may feel like, you know how he feels like he's working. Somebody that don't get up till noon and works two hours a day and watches TV, all the rest. But anyway, so let's go for this next week. This week coming up. He's getting an offer. An offer he might like. I don't know from where yet. And it's an offer to make a lot more money. What are, who are they getting ready to screw this time? Maybe that was Russia or Turkey paying him off to let Flint go. Because that's what it is. It's about money in the present. The challenge is the star, believe it or not. Could he be even be wondering if he's going to be able to get pull this off and not lose all credibility? That's this week coming up. We got the four of swords for the end of the week. So by the end, by this time next week, he's going to be laying awake nights worrying. And I don't think it's going to be anything to do with his health. I've got two theories why he's been running around without the mask on. One is because he'll smear his makeup, and two is because he's already had a mild case of this. And also, they're probably giving him all kinds of stuff like they used to give people that were exposed to polio like gamma globin and all these immune boosters he's probably getting shots every day for that you know he's not getting anything stuffed up his nose and especially if he's already had this i don't think he's even being tested if, if he's already had this and somebody's uh i heard some and I even thought that once, but I, I heard that somebody saying that they thought he had already had this and had a mild case of it. I think that was Linda G. But uh, that could be why he's running all over without a mask, because, you know, that's a little brave for him even, even though you're supposed to be wearing a mask to protect the others. Just in the, all kinds of people that he deals with every day and right up close to him. He knows something that nobody else knows because we all know he's a coward and he wouldn't be running around without a mask unless he had more information than we do. So anyway, in this next week, the first week coming up this week, he's going to get an offer. It's going to have to do with money. He's going to wonder if he can pull it off. That's a, the star because he's wanting to. And then he's going to be laying awake late night worrying about it so he must accept it this next week, whatever it is. And then the second week from now, there's some stuff coming out about his past. And I thought this was going to be about the income tax, but it, but it looks like it could be something to do with a Bowman. I don't think anything to do with any Bowman would hurt him. I mean, if he was molesting somebody in public against their will, everybody would t be cheering for him to go. So I don't think that's anything to do with it. I can't figure out what uh, what's going on here with this. Um, well, we'll see. got the page of swords okay we do have some woman coming out with uh, another whistleblower now whether it's on the taxes doesn't look like it's don't see many cards yet but another whistleblower coming out and they're going to try to create all kinds of confusion about this they're going to try so this is information coming out the second really bad for trump really bad for trump something to do the woman brings it forward maybe she's the whistleblower 
and then we've got his whole team spinning it and whatever, just like they're trying to do this death count every day, which is so sad. But anyway, uh, anyway, they're they're uh, trying to change the truth there. And then the last week of this month of May. Something about his paths that he wasn't expecting, just rushing forward. Just rushing forward here. Whatever it is, it's got the women celebrating, so that's great. Women celebrating to me are always Democratic women out celebrating in the streets. This is about money. Could this be about his taxes coming out? Is that what's coming up in three weeks? Because it's about money. About money he's put back. And the sword of truth is coming out. So that'll take us in. If we go three whole weeks, because we're already to the tenth of this month, that'll be right around the very last of this month of May and the first of June. Something's coming out fast. Something that makes the people celebrate. It's about him and money, so we know it's about theft. And we also have the a whistleblower right on top of that. And um, we got the sword of truth. So maybe they're going to release his taxes. Wouldn't it be nice? I'm going to drop one more card to see if they release them all. I just got... I don't even, if they really released all of his taxes, I don't even know how he could stay in there. I don't even think it'd be possible. And, ever, and yet I don't see him, him going. Not in these cards even. Usually there was a going away card here, but um, this, this, this true information coming out, what effect is it going to have? Well, there's been a lot of work done to get it out, so maybe that is the taxes. And it's about thievery. <laughs> surprise, surprise. That's <laughs> all like Gomer Pyle here. Is anybody surprised it's about thievery? About stealing from the poor. That might be something to do with, with all the equipment and stuff that he was switching around to make money on during this epidemic. I don't think that would come out that quick. But it's something about stealing from the poor. And we got Nancy behind this again, or at least somebody in power that's from the other party. So I would have to say this is Nancy Pelosi. She's usually my queen of wands. So anyway, yeah. So this is something they've been pushing for. Not sure who this who's behind this particular lawsuit to get his taxes out, but the House gets their hands on him either way. So that's good news. So I'm going to leave you all with that and um, hope I didn't bore you and thank you for watching and happy Mother's Day and I hope you have a great one and and uh, try to use your time wisely. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. I've been binge watching Netflix and, and uh, whatever, uh, Amazon. But anyway, I feel better about myself when I use my time wisely. I do wait till evenings. I, I won't let myself turn it on till about 8 or 9. Of course, then I stay up till 1.30 watching it. But happy Mother's Day, everybody. And remember, if you'd like a private reading, it's lynntarotreadings at gmail.com. Bye, everybody.